In this video, we're going to take a look at using the TI-83 Plus and the TI-84 families of calculators to calculate higher order radicals. Now the trick here is, in previous videos, I, I mentioned how to do squares and cube roots, and it's usually you just press a button or two and then you enter the number. When you're dealing with fourth order and higher radicals, you need to put the index in first. And I recommend doing all of this in parentheses so you don't get confused as to what's happening before or after. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and insert a set of parentheses. I type in the index first. Recall that the index is this little number out in front. I have to identify the index first. And so that's 4. Then I press my math key. And option number 5 is called the xth root. And the xth root is going to look at immediately in front of it for the number or the index of the root. And so I can scroll down and press enter, or I can just select 5 and it'll boot me back to the home screen. And so what I'm saying is take the fourth root of, and now I have to, and I would say in parentheses again, put in my radicand, which is 81. That set closed the radicand. This set closes the entire radical. Press enter. And there you go. The fourth root of 81 is 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a couple more just to see what happens. Here we're asked to find the sixth root of negative 243. And now I changed my mode earlier. I'm going to go back to it and go back to the proper mode here. If you're just learning about radicals, then you don't know, prob you probably don't know about complex numbers. If you already know about complex numbers, just make sure that your mode is selected to A plus BI. It'll work out. So I'm going to open a set of parentheses. I input the index. Then I say math. I say number 5 for x root. And then in the set of parentheses, I put negative 243. And I close both sets. Press enter. And I say, it's a non-real answer. Oh, OK, so this gives me a warning that, hey, you're about to do something bad. This is non-real. Well, OK, so I, I screwed up. I, I know it's non-real, so how do I fix it? Well, second quit will, will get you out of that error. If I go back into mode and I select A plus BI towards the bottom, press enter. If you select, or if you scroll off of it, it should be blackened. Second quit. Now I'm going to re-input that. I could just go ahead and re-input it manually, but I'm going to go second answer. Oh, I'm sorry, not second answer, second entry. And that's just going to put it right back in, and then I recalculate it by pressing enter. And now it gives me the answer. So it's 2.163 blah, 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 plus a bunch of stuff I. And so I, I know now it's imaginary. And you can scroll left and right to see. That's what those ellipses mean. So let's go ahead and I'm going to clear this so that anybody who's not in, in imaginary numbers won't be confused. And then we're going to find the fifth root of negative 32. To do that, open a set of parentheses. Put your index in, go to math, option number 5, open the set, negative 32, close it, close the parentheses around that, and press enter, and it's negative 2. And so that's how you find the higher order indices for the TI-83 Plus and the TI-84 families of calculators.